Alright guys, as you can see, Michael has a new car and it's probably the smallest car I've ever seen in my life. I mean, I'm not even sure how it fits in there. This car is called the PLP50 and it's apparently a car from real life as well. So yes, you can actually own one of these in real life. Um, it's actually so small that I can actually push it around just by walking into it. Um, but yeah, today I want to mess around with this car. I have some funny stuff that I want to try out. So if you guys do enjoy it, be sure to give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And yeah, as you guys saw, I came from the house. So I kind of want to go back in and show you guys that this car can actually drive indoors. I'm gonna close the door. There we go. Now entering in the front is actually kind of difficult. So we're gonna drive around the back here and see if we can enter from our porch. I think that should be possible. We might also bump into some people in case somebody's home. It looks like Michael's wife is in there. I can just make it up these stairs to actually get there. Okay, no. Yeah, don't worry about it. I'll get there. Oh, my whole family's in there. Okay, this will be interesting. Okay, come on. What's up team? How are we doing? Okay, so nobody cares that I just entered with a car. Gotcha. What if I just honk at him? Hello? Jimmy, loser. He just called me a loser, okay. <laughs> As you can see, you can drive this car inside. This is the first time I've ever done this. You might be able to do this with a panto. I'm not sure. Let's see if we can go upstairs here. I'm gonna use a bit of speed boost here to make it up these stairs because this car is very slow, which you guys will notice in today's video. But yeah, you can go anywhere. You can go into Jimmy's room. Yeah, let's just back out of here. As you do, or roll back, I guess. Come on, let me just back up and tell my family that I'm going. Jimmy, loser. He just called me a loser again. Dude, I'm done. I'm out of here. Have fun sitting by the table. I'm out to do some adventures. Okay, here we are out in the traffic. My car is pretty much one-third the length of this car right here. It's probably like one-tenth as fast. This is legit my top speed. And I'm going downhill. <laughs> See, obviously the first thing I thought was, what stunts can we actually do with this car? Seeing as how slow it is, this is max speed right here. I'm actually gonna switch over to Franklin very soon so we can use special ability to hopefully go a bit faster. Because I do have one stunt in mind which I think could work with this car. Can you even call this a car? I want to call it like a moped or something because I feel like it's just a moped with one more wheel in a little box. And yeah, here's the first person view. You don't really see cars until they are like 10 meters in front of you. Oh god. I can't see if it's red or not. I'm just gonna go. Yeah, we're fine. See, a first person view in this car is not recommended. But if you guys want to try this mod out, I'll leave a link to it down in the description, of course. But yeah, I think we're gonna switch over to Franklin now so we can do some easier stunts. So let me just exit this. And let's see what Franklin's up to. He's standing on the street. Oh, he's actually right by my stunting spot that I had in mind. So, this is a stunt that I've done with a shopping cart. So, I think this should be possible with this car. We're basically gonna jump off this cliff. There's a street up here. I try to fly through this square here between these two poles. Because the car is so small, I'm pretty sure it can actually fit through there. So, yeah, let's get Franklin one of these cars. Let's go and customize it, max it out, and then try out this stunt. Oh, there's another one. It's so cute. Just parked on the street and... Dude, I can barely even make it up this hill right here. That's how slow this thing is. Alright, here we are. Now, I have to say, the handling of this thing is actually not too bad. I was expecting it to tip over a lot easier, since it only has three wheels. But yeah, it seems to handle quite well. Let's add some brakes. Yeah, you can see the stats down there. They're not really looking that good. Does this thing even have turbo? Yeah, it can. Okay, turbo tuning. I'm also going to respray it, make it red, of course. Let's see, metallic. Which red looks the best? That looks kind of nice, the grey red. Now, we also need a fitting horn for this thing. Yeah, the clown horn. That's perfect. All right, here we go. Let's head over to the stunting spot and try it out. Uh, oh, this thing has a turbo now. That sounds sick. It actually made it a bit quicker. Let's pull up the speedometer and see how fast we're going here. Oh, we're pushing 50 kilometers per hour. Can we hit 60? I feel like if we go downhill, we could maybe hit 70 kilometers per hour, which isn't too bad, um, considering <laughs> the vehicle that I'm in. Okay, so without special ability, it looks like we can hit, let's see, 65. We're gonna hit 70, I think. 70. 70 seems to be max speed. And then with special ability, we can push it up to 88, 90. Oh, 90 seems to be top speed then. 92. Okay, that's not too bad. I wasn't really expecting the customization to do too much, but that's actually really nice. It's nice that it's going downhill though on the run up. That's actually gonna help us out a lot to get a good amount of speed here. Or at least as good as it's gonna get. But this feels like it could work. Just deactivate it and activate it over and over again. I'm just gonna make this turn. Not sure what angle to have really. Oh, that bush really slowed us down. Um, okay. I'm gonna have to go around the bush, I guess, because that did not go fast enough. Did not expect it to slow me down that much. Let's go around it. We'll go over here. And yeah, that's gonna work if we just get a bit more speed. But as you can see, I probably won't be able to land it clean because, yeah, it doesn't really have that good balance. We just landed right there so yeah so the only goal that i really have for this stunt is to just make it through the square 
between those two poles. Anything else that goes well is just relay bonus. Yeah, we're getting closer. Not too bad. Also stuck the landing. Good job, Franklin. Oh, that was a good amount of speed. The direction was a bit off, though. But dude, we're gonna hit this. This kind of looks so weird in the cinematic replay. A lot of speed, hopefully not too much. No! Oh, direction is still off. Come on, I can feel it. This will be a good one. Special ability. No, dude, we got stuck on the edge. I didn't even think I had to use special ability there. I'm just gonna skip it. Whenever I do, I tend to just mess it up. Yes. Oh! That was actually kind of cool with a little front flip there. <laughs> we finally got that though. Let's take a look at that in a cinematic replay, as always. Alright, here we go. That was probably the only stunt that I could hit with this car, to be honest. There might be a few more poles like that, which I can fly through. Oh yeah, guys, as you can see, this guy right here also has a three-wheeled car. This is a mod, but I couldn't get the handling of this thing right. So, basically, forward is backwards. So this guy's trying to drive forwards, but he's driving backwards into traffic and going crazy. Plus, the handling of the car is not that good. Oh, here he goes. He's gonna keep on driving backwards. I'm pretty sure left and right is reversed as well, so this guy must be so confused. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's stuck. Alright, buddy, good luck. We'll see if I fix that mod or not. It's kind of funny to just see them panic while driving around the streets sometimes. Okay, I'm gonna try and go into some more places with this car, like going indoors. Let's head to the supermarket and see what happens if I enter that. But yeah, I'll rate this car a 7 out of 10. And those 3 points that I deducted is mostly for the speed, because it's kind of annoying to drive around this slow. But yeah, apart from that, it handles good, and it looks funny, of course. And uh, yeah, it's just overall a pretty decent car, I have to say. Where is the supermarket? It's around here somewhere. Okay, this guy in the store usually calls the cops on me whenever I do something wrong. Let's see if we can just smoothly go in here. That was not very smooth, I just broke both doors. Just gonna drive around, I wanna buy some bubble gum over here. Gonna pay for it. He's not allowing me to buy anything. And I believe those cops are coming for me. Oh no! We gotta escape. Back up! Back up! Oh no, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. We need to take one door. Can't go through both. No, 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 no. I don't wanna die, I don't wanna die here. There we go, we got it. It's time to escape. I have the worst getaway vehicle ever. Oh god, we gotta go, we gotta go. Let me turn on the hood here as well. There we go, okay, so we got two stars and there's a bunch of cop cars behind us. I guess my plan should be to go into some small spaces where the cops can't fit. So through like small alleyways and stuff. The problem is, they keep ramming me off the street because I can't really get away. Oh no, 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 dude, you're not even a cop, what are you doing? Why are you hitting me? There is a cop in this vehicle. What? There's a cop and a random pedestrian. Uh, where can we go? Where can we go? Where can we go? Over here, maybe? Cops can fit here, too. Is there any other alleyways? Oh, no. They're onto me. They're really onto me. Go, 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 go. Can we go through this? Oh, no. That's not good. So, once we stay under the bridge, I think we're fine. Can go through here. Seems we have a tiny car. Perfect. So, I go as far as I can in this area right here. All the way over here. And there we go. That was, I think, my only chance to get away from the cops. So we can only go 90 kilometers per hour max, which I won't be able to do all the time, of course. Can I enter emanation? That should work, I think. Hello? No, he's fine. Oh no, he's shooting me, he's shooting me. Oh god, escape, escape to the firing range. Where is it? Over here. Can I go in here? Oh, I can. Come on, make it in there. There we go, this has to be the first time there's a vehicle inside of the gun range. Um, looks like he stopped chasing me as well, so maybe he's calmed down now so we can try and get away from here. Come on. Here we go, just rolling out of here. Oh no, he has not calmed down. He is still firing away. Luckily I have God Mod on just in case. Okay, buddy, I get it, I get it. I'm not supposed to be in here. Okay, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. See you later, see you later. Jeez. He was not gonna give up. It's gonna take a long time to do another stunt, so we're not gonna be doing that. Let's head over to Franklin's house and see how much we can drive in there. Backing into the door seems to be a bit easier, but there we go. We're inside of the house. No problem. Dude, I really wish this vehicle was in GTA Online, so you can just drive into people's apartments and just mess everything up. That would actually be really funny. Let's see, can we go downstairs? I think we can, right? Where is his staircase? Is it over here? Alright, here we go. He's gonna park my car next to my bed, as you do. We're gonna go out here, and I think that's gonna be it for our adventures with the smallest car ever in GTA 5. This was a lot of fun to try out. If you guys wanna see me use this car again to do some other fun stuff, let me know then in the comment section below. Also, let me know what you guys wanna see in my next video. And yeah, that's gonna be it for today. So I'll catch you guys later. So until then, take care and let's drop that beat.